My name is Abhishek Jain and through this video I am going to start a new tutorial series on how to write the programs for a quantum computer with an open source library known as Qiskit. IBM research team has developed a Qiskit and released in March 2017 as an open source. Along with that IBM has also made available their quantum hardware devices through cloud. And these devices can be accessed through the website uh, quantum-computing.ibm.com and that is also known as IBM Q. But before going to start a setup for the Qiskit and access to the IBM Cloud quantum hardware, let's try to find out the basic questions which are most frequently asked by the beginners. And the, my favorite one is, do I really need to understand or learn the quantum physics to write a program for the quantum computers? So let's find out the most frequently asked question by the beginners. The very first thing is, what is quantum computer? Does developer need to know the quantum mechanics or the physics to build a quantum computer? So a quantum computer, basically a device or a hardware which is built over the quantum properties of a very small subatomic particles such as superposition and integral. No need to worry about these technical terms as we just write some programs we will understand all these concepts by writing a program because for the developers it's very easy to understand by understand any complicated concept by writing a program by themselves. Right? In a deep learning, if you are building a neural network, if somebody will tell you the theory, you will get confused and you will you will realize that it's very hard to understand. But when actually you start building your neural network by yourself, then you start thinking that it's very easy to do it. Right? Similarly, Kuskit has made uh, this process to write a program on a computer, counter computer is very easy. Right? The other thing in a quantum computer is, the whatever the computer currently we use, it utilizes a base. That's a basic unit of our classical computer. But in a quantum computer, we have a qubit. And as I mentioned that in a quantum mechanics, we have two major properties, superposition and the entanglement, right? So uh, in quantum computer, we have a qubits which actually utilize the superposition and the entanglement properties. And we're going to see how we can manipulate the qubits as we manipulate the bits in a, in a classical computer with any other any existing programming languages right so the answer is there is no need for you to understand the quantum mechanics but if you know that would really you know reduce the time taken for you to understand the casket and to write a very effective programming language now the next question which is being asked what is Qiskit and why should we learn it? So as I mentioned that quantum computer or the quantum mechanics field itself is very complicated, right? So, and Qiskit made it very easy. And I would say Qiskit is something like we have a web application exposed over the net. So we don't need to worry about what kind of complex logic in the algorithm is being executed when I hit that web, uh, web application endpoint, right? All, all we need to worry about what all parameters we need to pass and what would be the input and what would be the output of that. Similarly, we just need to understand what all the basic and the fundamental units we have in a quantum computer and how we can build that in a biscuit. And that we're gonna see in upcoming series. And the last but not the least, what is qubit? As I mentioned that, qubit is same like what we have a, what we have a bit in a classical computer. The only difference is bit is always having either zero and one, whereas due to the phenomena of superposition and entanglement, qubit can have a, both these states, zero and one at the same time. No need to worry about why, how it is happening. We're gonna see with the programs, how will this happen? Now, the next part is the very first thing. It's very easy to just set up, you know, the Qiskit. But within a Qiskit, we have multiple components, right? And what you can do is you can just go to the GitHub, uh, you know, the GitHub and just see. And I will just provide you the link of the GitHub as well. So here is the GitHub repository, which Qiskit team is utilizing. And you can see we have a lot of modules over here. Qiskit, Qiskit IQS tutorial and you can just hit this tutorial and it's very good for the beginners but there are very complicated terminology which may confuse you, right? Then we have Qiskit Terra, Qiskit Air, Qiskit Equa and Qiskit Ignis and we can quickly just go through with these components. So Terra is nothing but it actually help us to write a very basic and the fundamental unit of quantum computer which is known as circuits and it's nothing but just a subset of instruction that
What is air? Air is nothing but it actually help us to just run whatever the quantum program or the circuit we're gonna write, how we want to run it. So Qiskit provide two ways to execute our program. The first one is the simulation. When I say simulation, it means that whatever the program you are writing on your classical computer, you can run the same program on your classical computer with the closer behavior, the closer response like quantum computers provides. And once you are satisfied with that, what you can do is then you can just hit the actual quantum hardware and there you can run your circuit. Echo and Ignis is something which we will be requiring uh, later. But real in, in, in the beginning, we will be only using Terra and Ignis. Now let's jump into the demo part and see how can we install our Quizkit. Okay. So for doing that, just go back here. Okay. So the very first thing which we have to do is, uh, since it is written in a Python, so you have to have a Python environment set up on your window machine because I am going to use a window. You have to just type a pip install Qiskit. Since I have already uh, done it, so I'm just use this upgrade. Okay, I just make a mistake here. So, if there is any upgrade, since I just you know installed you know the Qiskit, then it is going to just install it. Now, how can I verify whether this has been uh, installed correctly or not? So, whatever the programming we're going to do, we are going to do that on our Jupyter, right? So, if you don't know what exactly the Jupyter is, there are a lot of videos which are on a YouTube available. You can just go through and just understand how you can utilize the Jupyter. Jupyter is nothing but just kind of an ideal environment on a browser. So, how can I enable that? So, enable that, you just need to write other way is whatever the IDLE you have, right? So since if you have installed Python, by default you get this IDLE, right? What I can do is I can quickly import Quizkit. Okay. And then I can quickly check the version. But this is only going to give us the version of Terra, right? Let me just bring that command back and I have to just like Qiskit underscore C. So what you are seeing on my screen is when I just put the version, I'm getting this O.11.O, .O, whereas this is the version of Qiskit Terra, whereas the Qiskit version is 0 0.140, right? So if I just go back to the GitHub, GitHub, you can just go to the Qiskit and see the latest version from here. And the release version is 0.14.2. So it means that we have installed the Qiskit correctly, right? Now I have just in started my, uh, you know, the Jupyter notebook. So let me just install the new one, right? So if you just import Qiskit and just Means we have already verified by just checking the version that Qiskit has been installed correctly. The next part, which I'm, in the next video, we're just gonna see how we can set up, you know, the access to the IBM cloud where all the quantum hardware are residing. And then we once that's access, once the access gets set up on the IBM cloud to access the quantum hardware, then we're gonna see how we can write a very basic quantum program to run on classical computer as well as on a quantum hardware. That's it from my side for this video. If you have any feedback and suggestion which you want me to include in upcoming videos, please feel free to put that in a comment section because this seems to be a little complicated concept and I really need your feedback so that I can make it more simple so that everybody can easily understand this. Thanks for watching this. As always, if you haven't subscribed for my channel, please do subscribe for that and keep and stay healthy and keep learning a new concept.